Hi all, I'm Rashna. Today let's look into Mule application deployment on Docker. Prerequisite, install Docker desktop for Windows. I'll be providing this link in the description box. Followed by, in the system requirement, please download the WSL backend uh, by clicking on this Linux uh, kernel update package. Once downloaded, please install one after the other. Parallelly, create a folder inside your uh, any of the folder which you need. Which consists, which should consist of a Docker file and followed by the Mule uh, standalone runtime as a zip folder. Let's see what it consists of. Here is how my Docker file looks like, which states like OpenJDK 8, followed by a few other commands. You can go through these commands. Once this folder is created, let's see our application. This is how my application looks like, which consists of an uh, basic HTTP endpoint. And the path as a slash hello v1. And this is how my listener configuration looks like host as a, all interfaces and port as 8092. And in the response, I just have a JSON response stating like hello doc. Please export this as a deployable jar. Once these two things are done, this is how my installed Docker looks like without any uh, container. Uh, once this is done, let's uh, build our uh, like image first. Here are the few of the commands which I'll be providing in the link description. Okay, I'm building a Docker Mule. In order to build, we need to go to the folder which we created the Docker file. I'm just clicking on CMD. I'm right clicking on the command. This starts building the Docker file. Let it build. Here is our second uh, command which we need to run the build Docker Mule uh, in the previous step. Here I'm uh, stating like port 5000 should be exposed and as 8092. That means uh, when I click on 5000, it will route back to 8092. This 8092 is nothing but the what I have given in my Mule application. Here this is a build is successful. I'm just running that. Once this run is successful, if we go to Docker, this is how the container looks like. And this is how the image looks like Docker Mule. Okay, first I'm creating the image, then uh, I'm creating the container with the command. Okay, this is how the logs look. Let's see the. Okay, now go again. Let's get into any point platform. I am inside the sandbox uh, runtime manager. I'm adding the server as mule testing. This is where I'm going to deploy my application. I'm just copying the command. Once copied, just come to your uh, container. Go to terminal. Go to bin folder. Then paste the command. It starts thinking and here it starts uh, creating the server. Yeah, it starts creating. In order to make it running, go to your uh, Docker container. Here is your restart button. You can click on that restart. It's Once it starts uh, restarting, here you can see the in the running state. Until it uh, starts running, let's... Uh, create our endpoint to hit our application. This is how I am going to create HTTP followed by local host 5000 slash v1 slash hello. 5000 is the port what I gave it for the docker. Okay, it started run my server is added uh, successfully. Now I'm going to deploy the application with the port uh, which consists of a port 8092 here is my application name target mule testing load the file which i exported uh, as a jar deploy application and we'll take some time to deploy the application we can see the logs over here uh, when it's got uh, starts deploying okay one more thing Please be noted, I'm using here uh, the HTTP in the configuration, the port as 8092. And in my Docker, I'm st stating like, okay, my it's still I'm initializing. In my container, I'm stating like 5000. If I hit 5000, it should go to 8092. This is how we can confirm. We are hitting the Docker. Um, yeah, Mule application started successfully. Here you can see it started. I'll just uh, click on the HTTP localhost 50 slash v1 hello. And this is my response.
that's all for today thank you